Hello, 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 amazing and beautiful, wonderful people. How are you doing today? My name is Gabriel Reyes, Platinum Leader here with I Am Mastery Academy and Leader here with Inspired Mindset. And I wanna just take some time out of my day today to kind of just help you get started right, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? There's a lot of various components, whether you're building the business or you're coming in just as a customer that are very important on how to do. First things first is let's go into the trading component and really understand how is it can we use bit of Forex, race options, uh, what is IQ sent or any one of these brokers that are out there, okay? So with that being said, let me go ahead and just share my screen and, uh, and, and show you which um, quote unquote, how to navigate through your broker, okay? So here I have an example of the broker that I use. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I by no means am I am I making recommendations uh, for any type of broker. Um, I do not support or endorse any type type of broker. You see here in I Am Mastery Academy, we are an educational and service provider. Okay, now there's several different uh, brokers that you can choose. There's um, like I, I named a few, right? Vita Forex, Race Options, IQ Cent, Pocket Options, um, Nadex. Um, platinum options. Honestly, you can just go to Google and type in binary options brokers and find a broker that you're comfortable with. Okay. By no means am I endorsing bit of Forex. This is just a broker that I personally use that I feel comfortable with that I have been able to fund, withdraw, verify uh, the most the, the, to my level of comfort. Okay. So please, I want to make that clear. This is not no type of endorsement or, or recommending that anyone use any type of broker. So with that being said, and the compliance kind of out of the way, let me navigate you here through um, through your broker, okay? Through through this broker uh, being known as Vitaforex, okay? Now, if you see here on the left-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see all the different currency pairs, okay? You can easily scroll up and down, right? And, uh, and look for the currency of choice that you're looking to execute with. Okay, now boom, boom. So let's say we're looking at making a call on USD JPY. Well, you're simply gonna find USD JPY, click on USD JPY, and you're gonna notice that it changed, not just because it's now highlighted in blue on the left-hand part of the screen, but also here in the middle, you're gonna see that it says USD JPY. Now you're on that currency pair, okay? So that's how you navigate through the left side of your screen and you pick on different currency pairs. You see US CAD, um, GBP USD, uh, Euro USD. Okay. Now, one of the things that I make very clear for myself, okay, is when I'm looking at the price. Now, um, there is something called OTC off the charts. Uh, and, and that means that, you know, the brokers will run but it, there's really nothing that it's that it's reading because the markets may be closed, right? Like here on the West Coast, from 2 p.m. Friday to 2 p.m. Sunday, the markets are closed. So this will switch over to OTC. Now, I always make sure that price right here, price is close to price on a trading view. Now, I use TradingView as a backup source. I'm obviously all of my all of my entries and all of my data and trades come from our Hourglass software here with I Am Mastery Academy, but I also like to make sure that the cost reference is there, okay? So here we have this. Now, what does turbo mean? Keeping on option type turbo is within a 30 minute period, right? You have turbo, intraday and long-term. I don't worry about the other two. I strictly focus on turbo because I'm not gonna take any trades that are longer than um, 30 minutes in time, okay? So right below it, we have time, right? It'll show you how long of a trade you're gonna be in for. So utilizing the cash trap strategy, first step is identifying the currency pair. Second step is your time, change this simply to three minutes, right? I never trade fixed time. What does fixed time mean? Well, when you have fixed time on or you see it turn blue, that means that you're trading the full three minutes of time, okay? Now, typically, It'll come pretty close with fixed time off. Um, and if we need to buy some time, we can most definitely do so as needed, right? But I always have fixed time off. And then you come here 
and you utilize your um, amount size, right? You use your proper risk management, one to 5% of your account size, um, never gamble, right? Do one to 5% at any given moment in time. Okay, here goes your net profit, what it is that you're gonna make based off of what the currency is pairing. The currency pair is paying, right? So the Euro USD is paying 77%. Hence, we'll be making a net profit of $7.70. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just place a trade here just for uh, two minutes at a dollar because I wanna show you uh, two other features that are important, right? So let's say that we're, 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 we're believing that the market's gonna go, I don't know, um, up, right? And we go in here at 563. Now you see here right below, it gives us our ID, the asset, the strike price, where we enter the market, where market is currently at, what action we called time and expiry, right? Now this can only be used when the trade is negative, when it's not going in our direction. You see how we see the rollover and the double up? Well, the double up is gonna give us a second entry right there where we click it at the same expiry time, okay, as our original trade. Now, let's say we wanna buy more time. Well, we're gonna go here and we're gonna click rollover, right? Now, what rollover is gonna do, you see here, I was charged 30%, but it also gave me two more minutes of time, okay? Now, I deliberately wanted to go into a trade that was gonna be losing because I wanted to show you how to use these two features. The double up feature will give you another entry at a better position if you're if you believe that your analysis is correct, that you the way you're reading the market, the way the market is trending, you know, is correct, and you're able to get a much better entry, hit the double up button, right? That'll give you that option. Now remember, the double up option is gonna put in what you place. So if you place a five percent trade, you're placing another five percent trade. Now you have 10% of your account out on the market, okay? We have to be very, very careful when we use this feature. Understand what it is that you're placing and then rollover buys us the time, right? So you see here, it bought me two more minutes of time um, and so forth, right? So again, these were examples because I wanted to show it, not anything um, else like that, right? That's why I did a dollar trade to show you that example. So boom, this one lost, but now look it. We still have about another two minutes to hopefully, quote unquote, the market can readjust and they can make its move and end up above the 563 area, okay? So that's what those two features are. They're very, very resourceful. Um, not all brokers have that double up and that rollover feature. This is why I personally picked uh, picked VitaForex as a broker that I wanted to use because sometimes, you know, one of my mentors says, it's not a matter of if the market's gonna make the move, it's a matter of when the market's gonna make the move. Now, when it comes to rollover, I believe you have about 65% of your trade time for, for to be able to execute the rollover, right? There's gonna come a point in time here with even me being negative that I'm not gonna be able to press rollover, right? You're gonna see this just disappear um, shortly, the double up is pretty, pretty close to the expiry time um, that you can utilize that feature. But this you just see now, boom, doesn't matter. I cannot utilize that rollover feature anymore. It, it's gone. Um, double up, we'll see here, maybe about what? Um, 40 seconds. We're about a minute before the trade is over that we'd be able to quote unquote, utilize that feature. Right now here, down below is a waiting status, shows you all of the open trades that we're on, right? Boom, you click on the down arrow, you hit on close. It'll show you, you know, um, the latest trades that you've done within that trading day. You can click on uh, the assets, right? Euro USD, um, and it'll show you all the Euro USD trades that you place. You can pick a time frame to kind of see what your record was during that time frame, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's the importance on, oh, we also have here um, the chart, right? Where you can click on the chart and it'll switch it over to uh, your, a, a trading view chart with candlesticks, right? Where you can execute the trades there as well. Um, if you feel more comfortable reading the wicks, all right? And reading the candlesticks, um, you can go back to the tick chart by just pressing that again. Um, let's see what else over here on the left hand side, you can also trade um, CFD um, right other currency pairs, if you wanted to do so 
Um, we can trade crypto stocks indices, right? Crypto pays at about like 50% um, and so forth. So that's a little bit there of other features and kind of just how to navigate here through your um, through your through your bit of Forex. Here we do have, uh, let me go ahead and just click on this, try to have a chart adjust. These features here in the middle, the, the plus is obviously the plus sign is zoom in on the chart, right? Minus sign you click, it zooms out. This back arrow, you can pull the chart back. Uh, the forward arrow moves you all the way to the front to have an accurate, precise area of, um, of where the market currently stands. And um, yeah, that's a pretty quick, right? If you have any questions with customer care, you can most definitely hit this chat button, open it up, have your window to be able to speak with them. Um, they're pretty responsive, pretty resourceful uh, whenever you do have any type of questions. But that there, ladies and gentlemen, is just a quick run through of how it is that you can utilize, you know, one of these brokers like Vita Forex, Race Options, and also IQSIM. All of them are pretty, pretty similar. Hopefully this video is able to help to help you understand a little bit more on uh, what it is and how to utilize your broker. If you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me on Telegram, Instagram, Facebook. If you have my number, feel free to call me. I'd love to be able to help. With that being said, thank you so much for your time and uh, we'll be talking soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Hey, what's going on everybody? Mayor Ray is here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, send me a friend request on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content.